Welcome to Mr. Jaw's class where I, Mr. Jaw, cover educational topics in a short amount of time. Let's get started. How to solve for acceleration when dealing with Newton's second law. Let's take a look at this problem. What is the acceleration of a 8,172 kilogram object that is pushed with a force of 91,457 newtons? Before we get to the problem, be aware that you can't just watch these videos and learn the equations. So please make sure you get your notebook and pencil and write down the steps. That way you don't just memorize what to do, you understand why we do what we're doing. This will be more beneficial in the long run. And if you know someone who needs help with these problems, please feel free to share it with them. Let's get to the video. Step one, write what you know. Do we have force? Yes, we do. 91,457 newtons because force is measured in newtons. And then the mass, do we have the mass? We do, it's 8,172 kilograms. Mass is measured in kilograms. What about the acceleration? So we don't have the acceleration, so we'll just put a question mark. And then let's go ahead and plug in our values to the equation. So the equation for Newton's second law is force is equal to mass times the acceleration. So we have the force, so we're just gonna go ahead and substitute it. So it goes right there. And then the mass is gonna go right there. So how do we solve for acceleration? What we do is we think about what is happening to acceleration. Right now, it is being multiplied by the mass. So we have to do the opposite. So we are going to divide. So that cancels it out. We're getting the variable by itself. And whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side. So therefore, acceleration is equal to 11.19 meters per second squared. And that is how you solve for acceleration. Thank you for watching the video. Attention science teachers, want some free physics resources for your classroom? Click the teacher link in the description. And as always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing.